Hello, welcome to the weekly product training podcast. My name is Mike File. I'm with FFL Allegiance. Today, we're going to go through Mutual of Omaha. We're going to talk about the products that we write with them, some of the potential pitfalls that new agents write, how to quote them, how to write e-applications. So um, first of all, let's, let's get started with the really the four main products that we write with Mutual of Omaha, and then we'll, we'll kind of go through each one of them. We write Term Life Express, that is their term product, and we use that generally for uh, for mortgage protection, but it can be used for anything because it is just a just a term life insurance product. We also use with Mutual of Omaha Living Promise. Living Promise is their, their whole life product, and we generally use that for final expense. We also use their children's whole life product, and then uh, probably I think one of the more advanced products that I think you probably shouldn't write until you've been writing a little bit more and kind of get an understanding of how universal life works. But there are people out there writing it. So I do want to go ahead and go over it and kind of talk about it and make sure that if you do start to write it, you, you kind of avoid some of the mistakes that people run into. And that is their I-U-L-E. And that stands for Index Universal Life Express. So let's go ahead and first get started with their TLE, Term Life Express product. This is a product that can be written for anyone that is between 18 and 70 years old. There is a uh, an ROP, a return of premium uh, option that is on there. Now you can get a return of premium on there up until age 50. So once they're 51, there is no longer a return of premium. I think one mistake that people don't, uh, that d- they don't realize when they're talking to clients and a mistake that people make is they don't realize that once you add the ROP option onto that product that you lose all of the living benefits. So when you do a non ROP, you do have critical chronic and terminal illness rider on there. And that is a 80 per up to 80% of that, uh, the death benefit can be returned if there is a critical chronic or terminal illness. But when you do the ROP, the return of premium option with, uh, with, that, that product, then you lose all of your living benefits. And I think that's a mistake that I see agents going out and they're talking to clients. They don't realize that. So that is something that is important that you, you should know. Another thing that I really like about their return a premium option is when you run the app, you'll see that the, the client will actually have two different options at the end of that term. One, they can get all the money back that they've put into the policy or two, they, they can opt to do a paid up term product that's good forever. So basically, if they're going to get 30000 back for their premiums, uh, on that app, it'll show you, hey, here's 30000 Generally, it's about double. They'll say you can have a $60,000 paid up term policy good for the rest of your life. So that is kind of a, a unique feature with their return of premium. I do like that uh, option that's available to them. Here's a pitfall that I think that a lot of people make here, and this is important. So understand this and write this down. Mutual of Omaha and any of their products, they do not, they will not accept anyone that has been diagnosed with diabetes prior to the age of 50. So if there's any, uh, you know, if they got diabetes and, uh, you know, it was diagnosed prior to the age of 50, that policy is going to be declined. So that is important. Also, for all Mutual of Omaha, they actually have an app that you quote from. So if you have an Android or an iPhone, if you go to the App Store and download the quotes for sales professionals, uh, you can quote that product right from your phone before having to log in and, and, and do the e-app. One thing that uh, I, I have seen, and I've actually made these mistakes myself, so now what I always do is I resync the rates. So if you pull up the app and you click on Menu, and uh, there, there's a button that pops up and it says resync rates. I try to do that. It's every day when I'm in the field. I want to make sure that whatever I'm quoting is 100% accurate. So resync the rates. That way, whatever you're going to run through the application is the same thing that you're quoting on the app. Um, another mistake that I see agents make. Now, when you're doing your e-application, when you're going through there, there is an option when you get to the payment screen that it says take first payment by credit card. I never do that. I've never done it. I've seen it. I was just always told that we did everything through ACH. So I've always ignored that options, but it seems like we have more and more agents that will call and they're trying to run through credit cards and so forth. I just, I never do it. So always make sure you either have a checking account or a savings account. So enter that routing and account number. Also, one thing I didn't mention is that product can uh, go all the way up to 300,000. Now that does depend on age. When you're in the app and you put the client's age in there, it'll let you know 
you know, can you go to 150,000? Can you go to 200, 250, 300? All that information is right in the app. So just be aware of that and pull that up before just, you know, telling a client exactly what they can get. So that's uh, all that I have for the TLE. Let's talk a little bit about Living Promise. Living Promise is, again, a whole life product. Uh, good until age 120. Payments are made until age 100. Um, if you want to understand exactly what they'll accept, I always tell everyone, pull and, and download the application, read through the questions. But generally speaking, no cancer in the last four years, no heart attacks, no strokes in the last two years. And again, the same thing applies with the diabetes. Even though it's a whole life final expense product, they will not accept it if there was a diabetes diagnosis prior to the age of 50. Um, that product, the death benefit goes from 2000 all the way up to $40,000. So if the person is relatively healthy, Mutual of Omaha is a, a great option. And also, too, Mutual of Omaha is very high, uh, very blood pressure friendly, high blood pressure. So uh, they're just not very diabetes friendly. The other product that we'll write with them is their children's whole life. Again, it's a great product. They go from age zero to age 17. And the, the uh, child can get all the way up to $50,000 on whole life. I had someone call me the other day and said, if I write this on, on my, my own child, will that payment ever increase? I said, nope, it's, it's going to stay the same for forever. So as long as they keep that policy, that payment's never going to grow up. I think it's a great add-on product for everything that we write. Any of the other carriers, if you're writing a parent application, I actually like writing the children's whole life as an add-on rather than uh, adding them to a current term policy or whatever the policy you're writing. I think it's better for that child to have their own because if something happens and the parent cancels their life insurance, um, you know, if, if the child has their own policy, and generally these, these policies are very inexpensive, even up to 50000 these payments don't go any higher than $20 a month. So if something bad happens and the parent has to cancel their insurance, if the child has a st uh, standalone policy for themselves, hopefully they, they can at least keep that if something bad happens and the parent ends up canceling their insurance. So when you're writing up a, uh, when you're writing up a parent's policy, always add a children's whole life option onto that. I think it's a great add-on product when you're writing that. The last product, like I said, I think you need to be a little bit more uh, experienced when you write it is the IULE. It's Index Universal Life Express. And if you're not uh, very familiar with Index Universal Life, please go to our advanced market uh, site and, and do some review on it. I think it's a little bit more of a, an advanced product and you need to understand exactly how universal life works. But again, it's a, it's a very, it's a great option. When you're quoting that, it quotes with the target premium. So the product as you're quoting it on the app is meant to last until age 120 and never expire. Um, the, the one thing that I, I see people that they don't understand that product, when you're doing an e-application, it does require an illustration. So you have to go to winflexforweb.com and you have to register and create an account. Every, uh, every IULE that is submitted to Mutual of Omaha does require a signed application by the client. What I do is I, when I'm in the field, I have a, an iPad and I have a, uh, an app on there called Notability. I think you should have it when you're in the field because you can upload any PDF. The client can sign it just like it's a piece of paper. So if you have an Apple pen on your Apple pencil on your iPad, you can upload that illustration directly from WinFlex into Notability. The client can sign it. You can save it to your iPad. And then when you're running the e-application, you can just upload it right from there. Now, if you don't do the illustration at the time of doing the e-application, you can do it later. It's just you're going to get an email from Mutual Omaha. It's going to say, hey, Policy was approved. It wasn't paid out. You know, there is a requirement. It's going to require the, the uh, illustration to be sent to them. So you can do it after. I like to do it all at the same time. So when I'm in the house that it's all completely knocked out, I know that when I, I get the email that uh, the policy has been issued and I've been paid. So I, I think that's another pitfall. I think that's actually a, a great tip, too, is to be able to, when you're in the field, make sure you have an iPad, download the app Notability. I use it for all the carriers. Every PDF that we have, I have all the PDF apps that are uploaded directly into Notability. So if I ever have an issue and I'm in the field and I can't get a Wi-Fi connection, can't get an internet connection, I can pull up Notability. I don't need to carry around a million different paper applications. They're all uploaded directly into Notability, and I can do an app on there right, uh, just as if I have that paper application in front of me. So uh, that's definitely something that you want to do. And the IULE, 
um, goes from 25000 again, all the way up to 300000 All you have to do is go into the app. It'll let you know based on the client's age exactly the death benefit that you can get. Now, the one difference between the IULE and the TLE is you can't ever have had diabetes. It doesn't matter the date that it was diagnosed. If there was ever a diagnosis of diabetes, it will not go through uh, the IULE product. The IULE product is definitely a little bit more, I think, difficult to qualify for. So make sure that if you are talking about that with a client that they are pretty healthy. Um, It's very hard to pivot because that product is very, um, it it is priced in such a way that they are looking for more more healthy clients that if you get a decline on that, generally you're going to get a pretty uh, unhappy client. It's it's generally a little bit more difficult to pivot uh, off of that once you get a decline. So make sure that you ask all of your, your underwriting questions up front. You understand exactly uh, what they may qualify for um, because realize that if it does get de- uh, declined, it's, it is going to be a little bit more difficult to uh, pivot to another product. So again, for those of you that are out there in the field, Mutual of Omaha is a great option. There are some other products, but uh, you know, focus on the four, really the three main ones that we talked about. Uh, before you start trying to dig up and figure out all their other products, they've got a lot of other things that are in that app, but definitely focus on your term life express. Again, that's going to be for your general life insurance sales and your mortgage protection. It's a great option up to 300,000. It is a non-medical product. Look at their living promise. Again, that is a whole life product up to 40,000. And that's going to be for your, um, that's going to be for your final expense sales. Look at their children's whole life. That's going to be for whole life for their children that are under the age of 17. It can be for grandchildren as well. And then after you get a little bit more experience and, or if you understand exactly what universal life is, then you take a look at their IULE. Now, they do have some other, uh, other UL products, but focus on, on the IULE at first before you start trying to introduce some of their, their other products. I think too many times agents come in here. We have so many carriers that have so many different products. It can be overwhelming. So I say focus on the main ones, the easy ones first. Understand those completely before you start trying to go through and figure out everything else. Once you get a good handle on the main products, I think everything else becomes very, very simple. So that's all I have for you today. Make it a great day.